Welcome to another HIS9 video. Today I'm going to be going over how to set your computer up to see your NVIDIA Shield tablet and to be able to connect your NVIDIA Shield tablet on an external network. I have set my uh, Shield tablet up on my LTE for my cell phone. So what we're going to have to do here is click on the GeForce Experience, click on Settings, and then add a link in the NVIDIA Shield tab. I'm going to zoom in here, but I'm also going to put the description in the link for the path that you're going to need to enter in. Once this path is entered in, just click on the open and then you're going to see it as a link. MSTSC. Right here. So now we're going to close off the experience and we're going to go over to our tablet now. Once we go into our tablet, we're going to go into Game Stream, and you will now see the new link for MSTSC. Once we click on that, it's going to connect directly to our desktop. So having the NVIDIA Shield controller is probably the best option for doing this, because it offers a feature that uh, another Bluetooth controller will not option not have and that's the touchpad on the bottom. If you're just using the remote desktop you can use your finger on the screen as so but if you're connecting it via HDMI and using the, uh, the console mode which turns the screen off you're going to be wanting to use the shield controllers touchpad to navigate. The analog sticks do not work in this mode. So it's going to go down I'm going to open up Steam and load a game. I noticed too that there's not much of a delay from the computer to the tablet which is pretty good on LTE. On your own 5G network inside your house it is much better. So here I'll open the game up and I'll show you some gaming done. And the best part is about this, you can connect your HDMI cable into your TV and play this as a console now. If you're just going to be gaming on the screen, I suggest turning your desktop resolution to 1920 by 1200 just to maximize the resolution for your NVIDIA Shield tablet and create much better experience. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.